Hello everybody, this is our presentation in the making of our culinary A. I hope you enjoy watching it as much as we have enjoyed making it. This is our wonderful team. <laughs> The team involved in this is the Comic Chef Apprenticeship. There's nine apprentices involved and they're working in various restaurants and hotels and catering establishments in Tipperary, Kerry, Limerick, Clear. Can you take out the bit of it being competitive? <laughs> <laughs> like a shot. <laughs> 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 Sharon, okay. Uh, for the apprenticeship team, we'll start with Will King here in the bottom. We'll talk, call him what, the boss, I suppose. The boss. The boss, the boss yeah. Danny, apprentice. Matty. What's your title again, Matty? Uh, construction engineer. Construction engineer, I love it. Harry, artistic director. This is Davor, apprentice, and all the apprentices here. We start with Aideen in the corner, Jose, Rasa, Marlena, Louise, and Javad. The A, a couple of weeks ago, they told us we were making the A, and then, uh, so we talked about it, what we're gonna make, how we're gonna make, and uh, everybody shared the ideas. Honestly, we didn't have no idea what is it going to be look like, how is it going to be look like, because we cannot use uh, food in there, it doesn't last long. Uh, so we put our thoughts together, we went through it, Head Chef did help us a lot, and then uh, the great thing is oh, no. almost done. Well, like, all we read with the brief was that it was going to be letter A and what we are going to work with that, so obviously people had different ideas of what we were going to do with it what we're going to be each, each side of it. So we had to go down and see what factors in. Like a lot of people wanted us to go with food as we are culinary. Food is not going to last for something as long as this. This is to stay a couple of months in, a, in maybe a, an art museum or whatever in Dublin. So you, you had to take food out of it, but still work in a culinary context. So we had to uh, sit down and uh, just, you know, trash out what would be the best, best way going forward for us and what to use. Okay, well, I'm part of the team and I'm, I'm they're calling me the creative director. Um, but uh, my main role really was in relation to the textile aspect of, of the A and uh, how to incorporate the chef's uniform into the piece. Also, I advise as well on colour schemes and other aspects of it as well. Well, we were all sitting around the boardroom table, that's how we discussed all our, and then we all we were thinking of how we work in, in work, what do we use, what do we do. Um, yeah, basically, we did everything we did. Another important thing is. You see the thickness of the tile, right? Especially here, it has to come roughly. Yeah. My, my name, they're going to be a bit of an issue, right? We're afraid the team bonding and stuff, we brought us all together and sharing ideas, you know? Like, I could have one idea, Kira could have another idea, Javad could have another idea, but it's excellent. We're all bringing the ideas together and it's all working out great, you know? It's a very good team building exercise, you know, uh, problem solving, you know, the attributes, uh, the attributes of any uh, culinary arts graduate is that they can uh, problem solve, you know, work as a team, turn up on time, you know, have discussions, you know, and I think uh, this is all part of this and it takes them away from their daily practical classes of, and you know, and they're still working as a group together in their uniforms, but just out of the context of being a chef. You see, there's a, there's there's one very good, strong point we got out of this. We learned to put, you know, as a team, we became a real team because we are here only two days a week. We got to know each other. We got to know, we got to, we learned to say yes to each other, listen to the other person. 
There is a lot, there is a lot behind that A we learn. Teamwork. Well, the main thing I think we've taken from this is teamwork. So there's nine of us in the class and we all came together with great ideas in building the A. And um, it's just great to, you know, show your own take on things and, you know, everyone has different ideas. So when you come and you decide on what's best and how it's looking now is brilliant. We learned a lot, we've actually learned the well. The most important thing I think we learned is a team, team bonding. We've done a lot of team bonding, we've shared ideas and stuff, so it's excellent. And the likes of me, I work in an Italian restaurant, and a lot of guys work in hotels, so I get to share my menu with the other guys, so it's brilliant. We learned lots and it's good life. Well, uh, we really do everything together as a team, like because everything is new to us. We, we, ne we never have to do anything with construction or creating a, a sculptor, so it was everything really new for us. So we have to help each other because uh, we really didn't know uh, any of, any of the, the things like that. So the first thing basically I think we learned about the A finishing the A, it was problem solving. There was millions of problems. Well, not millions, but lots of problems. I'm like, every inch of that A was problem. Because it's not our field entirely. But we done it. And the teamwork, problem solving. I personally, I am loud. I, I argue, okay? But in there, I sat there and I listened to others, to the lads. Actually, they were better than me. Their ideas were fantastic. What they've learned from it, um, besides getting the project ready, problem solving will be a big thing, you know, how to use your head, you know, when, you, when you're doing something that you're not, you don't do every day, like uh, construction. Um, just, I, I'm relying on other people, you know, getting ideas from other people and that kind of thing. Team effort, you know, if you don't know something, just ask whoever's with you, you know, it works out very well. Perfect, right, then if you just wet your finger. Yep. That's perfect. You've done this before, right, sir? Thank you. Thank you. Um, Not well. Yeah. Um, there was several. There was a couple of silly niggles come up, like you know, um, like one of them was, for example, um, in real life and on, on, on sites and stuff. When you plaster something, you're always going to have little defects in it, you know. So you don't see it always painted. So there was little dents and stuff like that in, in the finished product. And I got one of the girls, Kira, came in the other day with me and um, done some filling, just showing us to do it. And she, she just couldn't understand why we were doing it. We were just saying, you know, it has to be right and perfect and whatnot. So she saw from that then the difference when it was finished, just see how smooth it was as opposed to how it was. So, you know, said the same, she's learned that as what she would know in, in chefing, you know, she, you know, it has to be perfect. So. Well, it's been short on time. We didn't know that it was going to be so soon, the competition, and we actually had to have it done for a But We're coming together, we're all putting in a lot of effort and we're coming up. And, um, um, yeah, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> well, the whole, the whole part of it has been a challenge from day one, from the concept of, of the idea, how to incorporate all the skills into the piece, um, how to make it portable as well. Uh, again, so every aspect of it has been a challenge. Um, the materials used, how to adapt those materials to fit into the project. Um, again, how to get across um, what this apprenticeship, the trainee apprenticeship that we're looking at here, the hospitality and catering skills, how to get those incorporated into the A. So it's been a challenge from day one. There were so many problems, there were problems everywhere, from the skills that we didn't have to build it, from the, we couldn't use the food, and the, the material, how's it going to be look like, there was problem everywhere. And then uh, we built it, and then we broke it, and then we rebuilt it again until the great day is beautiful today. Well, I think apprenticeship is the way forward, you know, it's a practical course for practical people, it's uh, driven by industry, 
the apprentices come in here two days a week on Monday and Tuesday. They work three days a week and they have two days off. You know, so as I said, I think it's the way forward. There is such a shortage of chefs. We need to try and start doing something. I don't think we'll ever see the uh, supply meeting the demand, but I think this is the way forward. I've taken, I've, it made me feel really good to see that um, the apprentices were very keen to learn and, and were so interested and it was genuine interest, you know, I was, that, I, I, I took great satisfaction from that and especially the way it's turned out as well, the year itself, you know, working with Will and Kieran here and, and, and Harry on the project, um, we all worked very well together, um, but the way it turned out was better than what we expected, to be honest, you know, so, fingers crossed. Win the competition, which is super. I mean, we're a pilot scheme. We haven't been in apprenticeships a year yet. We only started last November. Like, to actually win a competition like this on our first year would be, would be unbelievable, you know. To be honest with you, at the start we were kind of eager to get it done, but now we're actually putting heart into it, so we're mad to win it. We are going to win it, and we're all out. But yeah, we're, we're happy to see it finished, and it's finally getting us all happy there, so. I think I've got to meet the students, um, I meet a new group of people. Um, I've learned a lot from them and their skills and we've and I've been able to adapt my own skills through that. Also the staff here at the centre um, have been fantastic and they have shown hospitality to everybody involved in the project and I think that was a huge thing that I've learned from it, that people are willing to help once you ask them. We're in the competition which is super, I mean we're a pilot scheme, we haven't been in apprenticeships a year yet, when it started last November, like to actually win a competition like this on our first year would be, would be unbelievable, you know. Well it was such a relief because uh, at the very beginning it was all different ideas from everyone but you couldn't really imagine in your head and now that we really see that the result is really fantastic so I think we're all really glad that how we ended up with the, the whole thing. I don't think at any stage of the project where we felt like giving up. I think when you're kind of into the unknown, as I said it was our first competition, we're new into apprenticeships, I think it just you need a team to really gel together to get this, you know, and get it going forward and get it over the line. I mean, it's just a short space of time. We're only in class on Mondays and Tuesdays, so you really only have a couple of weeks to put this together. So it has to come together fairly quickly. I felt proud. I felt proud, not just me, us. We did it. You know, at the start, nobody had any idea what is it going to be. I mean, like, when I say no idea, I mean it. I'm like, blank page, nothing. And then we went through it, we argued each other. We raised our voice, I'm telling you. We, are, we raised our voice and then it was planned there on the wall. It was, it was a proud moment.
Yeah, yeah.